this is Rick Beattie with Digitech here today to talk to you about how to install the Jam Manager software on your Windows XP computer. First, you'll want to double click the exec icon that you downloaded and then click run. You also want to make sure that you have Microsoft Silverlight version 4.0 already installed on your computer. And on this screen, you'll click next. And this is the license agreement. You'll want to read through that and then accept the terms to the license agreement and then click next. Here you want to type in your username and an organization. I'm going to type in Harmon Music Group for mine. Then click next. And this is the program folder. It'll install the Jam Manager 2 and the program folder name. Click next. And now we're ready to begin installation. Go ahead and click next. And at this point, it's saying before proceeding, make sure to connect your Jam Man to the USB port on your computer and make sure it's turned on. So we're going to want to go ahead and uh, connect the power to the Jam Man, turn it on, and then connect the USB cable. You'll probably have a pop-up that comes up uh, saying new device discovered and uh, also Windows uh, uh, installation wizard. Go ahead and cancel out of that and then click OK. And you're going to want to click continue anyway on these next two pop-up screens for Microsoft. And this should complete the installation. And we're ready to run the Jam Manager. So go ahead and click finish. And it's going to open up the Jam Manager software. You'll notice under devices the Jam Man Solo is listed, giving us access to the internal memory and external SD card. This is also if you, uh, where if you didn't have the current firmware version on your Jam Man, it asked if you wanted to upgrade that. And uh, in order to do that, you would just click OK and recycle the power on the Jam Man, and you'd have the new firmware. And that's it for installing the Jam Manager software.